Christ. Man, I clapped All right, so it's hard. Sort of work. Let's go. Breaking my hands. No, actually, that was a really good sync. In fact, it was such a good sync. That should be the intro to the whole show. Like we gotta. Damn. You know, I like I feel, we do this. I feel like we have to show people. Not even an intro. Just a clap is enough. Was, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Some Ordinary Podcast with your boy Oompaville, your boy Nux Taku, and me. Unfortunately, <laughs> but of course, we've got. <laughs> We've got the amazing GB ASMR. How are you doing today, GB? How how's, how's it going? How's it hanging? Oh, I'm doing great. Yo, I, I'm just realizing you always introduce this as my boy, my boy. I think you're the first female guest on the podcast. Oh, God bless. Yes. You are. God bless. You I need that's questionable you broken, sometimes. You have broken the mold here. <laughs> <laughs> We're breaking new ground on this show. <laughs> oh, man. Happy to be the first. Oh well, well, we're just glad to have you. You know, it's a. I, I feel like this show is great because we just had such a wide variety of characters. We've had so. It's so funny. Like the la- last night before I went to bed, I thought about man, how many people have we had on the show that just actually like despise one another? You know what I mean? Because like, <laughs> <laughs> like I, oh my I remember, god, like, dude, we have some people that really hate each other. Yeah, I I have. Dude, I've never I've never looked too much into the beef between certain creators, but it's so hilarious how like we had Hassan on this and then we had Destiny. I was like, and then I looked up and like, man, I wonder if these guys <laughs> ever worked together. I wonder if they ever collaborated. So I go on YouTube and I look it up. Turns out they hate each other. I'm like, oh damn, this is like inviting Israel and Palestine onto the same conflict. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's like no room for conflict in the ASMR community. People try. There is some, but it's just kind of like oh, oh really? Please. Please stop. Are you encro- are you encroaching on their territories? <laughs> so so what's so funny? I think ASMR kind of has like at least from my experience as someone that doesn't actually perform ASMR yet. Um there's like two huge sides. There's the side of ASMR that's like will help you fall asleep, and then there's the side of ASMR that like we can't label it as porn. So we're labeling it as ASMR instead. Those yeah, are like still only two so. sides. There's like 17 sides. You know my favorite content on the internet, and then there's Never? the people that eat glue. Those are people too. <laughs> what? I've seen. I've seen the one guy. There's a guy who eats like uh, he does like very stuff to get like clicks. He eats like tampons mm. and stuff mm. like that. See, and, I like, don't even. Tools. I don't even like. I feel like that's another. It's a uh, like mukbangs. It's like a. It's like yeah, a that's yeah. novelty. Yeah. It's like a sibling I, of I, ASMR. I feel, Same family. I feel like if you eat. I feel like if you eat tampons, like that's just medically you're going to like. <laughs> well, they're not like, actually they're they're real. Tampons. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're really, really they're good. Well, I like to yeah. believe they're real. Okay, I like to believe I know, what dude. I see the on the internet is a lie. Insane. Like the eating oh, yeah. channels yeah, is because you're seeing a guy eating one. Dude, I've seen Pete. Okay, I was researching this because I wanted to make a video yeah, where I okay. showed GB the worst <laughs> ASMR I could. I found people eating sticks of deodorant. I found people eating combs, like biting How the bristles it, wait, out of combs and, and swallowing. You've heard of shoe nice, though. Okay, shoe nice is real. I mean, you real here. Shoe nice is not. Dude, he hates me right now, dude. You got beef? Yeah, I got beef. That's like my only real beef I've ever had. He. What did you do? I interviewed him for a video because I'm like a fan of his for a long time. Um, I interviewed oh, him no. for like two hours. Was really nice to him, and then like I changed the title. Because no one cares about him anymore, really. Like, he's not, like, a relevant topic. Okay. Like, if you look up any video about Shoe Nice, it's just, they don't do super well. But I really mm-hmm. wanted to interview him regardless because I've watched him for such a long time. And he's, like, he's just saying how many mistakes I made in making the video. And, like, just saying how I'm no different than H3 and those those scumbags. He uses different words. But, I thought uh, he was he friends Sunny with B2. H3. What? No, he hates H3, dude. What's wrong with he you? thinks oh. I'm a hater and a troll. Oh, no. And, like, yeah, I can... Uh, he keeps saying that I'm going to make a video of all of our DMs, which I'm not going to. I've posted, like, an image of two just because they're f***ing <sighs> uh, absurd. But, yeah, he said, oh, my God. Like, th- these are just his DMs that he sends me. Those are all his DMs. All DMs, bro. He's, Dude, that's like, he's manic. that's like stalker level. That's like stalker material. Yeah, he's manic. It's crazy. <laughs> no but, uh, way. Oh I still God. like him. I still have respect for him. I think he's just he just has, like, yeah. I don't know, something going on, which I'm, I haven't no. been mean back at all but like it's just man just relax bro come on what are you fucking doing well, um I, uh, yeah dude, is, it's, nice is the guy that like he'll comment on youtube videos and then he'll yeah, respond to times, his yeah. own comment yeah. like with 50 oh. different accounts saying yeah what he said i still, yeah, love, what he said. I still I love, love those i love those shoe nice common threat chains you can all tell they're the same sock account like there's not even yeah it's like a litmus test for are you alive <laughs> like <laughs> How you, did you ever become semi-relevant is beyond me. You don't even have an automatic video on your front page. Bro! 
This got destroyed, dude. You got I went to by college for right? search engine <laughs> optimization. Embarrassment. You're an embarrassment. You will never block me. We are friends for oh. life. But don't be a bitch like Sunny V2 or H3. I'm Waste so of time dead. talking to you, Mr. Oh Editor. God. Have a nice life. Oh block me Have one less nice in my messages. You will never block me. You're stuck Bruh, with I me. I don't want to block him. He's crazy. Oh, he's blocked me like five times, by the way. Like during these conversations of him saying, I'm going to block him. He's blocked me like five times. That's a toxic relationship. Yeah. I, know, I even should. paid him to, to do the interview Good first for time. Like, a lot of money. Yeah. Just because I, you know, I respect him just because he's like a legend on YouTube, but he's truly something. Something's mm -hmm. going on. I paid him on Cameo to drink like three liters of Kool-Aid in one gulp or something. I don't know. He's, you know, he's a character. Speak, speaking of wild communities, I'm huge into the cooking community on YouTube. So, like, there's, like, regular cooking channels, right? Like, you know, and here's how to make, like, mashed potatoes and, and steak, guys. All right. Like, the same, you know, mm. top-tier cooking YouTubers. But I found out that there's, like, whole themed YouTube channels. Like, we've got YouTube channels in, like, Oklahoma. Like, good back redneck country cooking cooking in the hood i'm a huge fan of stuff like that like these guys just make characters they make the most outlandish random food in the world <laughs> and they just like yeah they, seriously you just look up anything like steak in the hood cooking okay. it's like i gotta find the exact video hold the on cookout, I gotta find the smp the hood no, in like, oklahoma is that no, what no, you said no 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 there's like there's like that's a it's a whole different channel i gotta like find them out exactly like we okay, were all I was gonna watch say, together i'm not really sure there's a hood i mean how I much really time know. do you think you spend on youtube a day on a rednecks me? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, zero. including I my own stuff, mm -hmm. probably like two, three hours. Okay, that's I nice. usually do it. I I'm usually doing it like in the side. Like anytime I watch a video, it's always on the side monitor. I've never watched a video for the last two years where I've actually paid full attention. It's always been in the middle of like. <gasps> I can't do that. You can't. Okay. You really? Can't do, no. like, side I have monitor? to listen to like lo-fi, like okay. no. Lo-fi no beats. No lyrics. Yeah, no lyrics music if I, I want anything to get done. What about German hardstyle? You ever listen to hardstyle? Uh, I think so. German hardstyle? I didn't know what style. it was called. What? But I want some of that in my life. Oh my god. Yeah, Is that I, your go-to? It's gotta be German, yeah. Background, background working music. Shrexophone, 10 hour loop. That's how I... Shrexophone. That's how I calm down. See, so like, this this kind of music would just keep me, like, just plat... See, this is why I can't do music while I'm working, because sometimes, like, if you have too fast of songs, my brain gets stuck into... Man, I'm really exposing myself for being really goddamn neurodivergent to this day, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's I'm okay. Like, I'm, like, very, very, like, just... No, I, I, that's why I can't. That's why I just have to have like a speed run video on the side and just like something preferably from GDQ with like a level of awkwardness to it, you know, like where like the personalities on the stage are just not getting along. And then I just work onto it too. Like I have to have the right amount of passive aggressive shit while I work. <laughs> I, I think you need to examine that. I do. No, see, dude, I, that's why I love, that's why one day I do want to go to a speedrunning convention because it's like the ultimate test for social skill. You know, it's like you have to sit next to somebody you 90% of the time are going to hate. Okay. At the dawn of time, there was Adam and Eve well known for procreating and bringing life to the earth. Anyway, this video is sponsored by AdamandEve.com. If you use the code ORDINARY, you get 50% off one item that you can find there with free shipping in the U.S. and Canada. With 24-7 customer service, 90-day no-hassle returns, discreet shipping, it is the correct place for you to go for toys. It's a toy sponsorship we have here, and it's extremely wholesome. It's been in business for over 50 years, and 20% of all their profit goes to fight the spread of HIV around the world thank you so much for supporting the podcast and back to the episode because mm -hmm. here's the thing with speed running i've learned one thing people who speed run are very much like they are experts in what they're playing you know like you'll you'll sit on the speed run couch and you'll have like you know halo one on there right and these mm -hmm. these people have played halo one so much they might as well be legally married to it so it's like, if you do one thing wrong on that couch and the other person's sitting there, it's just like a nonstop passive aggressiveness between each other because they'll, they'll just be self-correcting. And I love watching it. Like, it's the ultimate test for it. Like, that's why I want to be there because I'm like a huge fan of like those kind of situations. I'm down to like be part of it. Okay. Like, you don't de watch the game. It. You watch the gamers. Oh, dude, 100%. I played enough Halo. What do I, I fucking know what's going to happen every level. Who cares? I'm there to watch the actual did you like beef tweet? between them. Oh, no, you left Twitter. You might not have seen it. There was this one guy that tweeted that um, depression in is prevalent in what? gamers and gaming causes depression. And 
out of your what? top 100 moments in your <laughs> lifetime, none of them are going to be playing video games. Right? Did Andrew so, Tate tweet that? What? It, it has like 40,000 likes or something. What? Yeah, like, who fuck? tweeted it though? What's the. Who's it, it, was, behind it, was, it was a streamer, I think. It was like a big streamer. Uh, I don't remember. Which one? I don't remember. Yeah. Hold You're on, maybe. That's so now they're like having not... a, they're having a moment. You know, sounds, sounds like they're having some personal problems. So wait, like a top hundred percent. Okay, so this is where I get into the gaming side. All right, like just to get onto it. Obviously, like I found okay, it. There's DJ Vlad. yeah, I actually see this. Okay. Yeah, send, send oh, that guy. Yeah, that guy. This. DJ Vlad. As an adult, playing video games for long periods of time is a form of depression. If you don't believe me, ask yourself this. Think about the 100 greatest moments of your life. Do any of those moments include video games? Probably not. And this comes from a lifetime Maybe. gamer. Yeah, out of a top I mean, 100 points of my life, yeah. I would have to say, though, like, isn't any, like, top moments of video games I can think of, it's because it was, like, a social moment with somebody with somebody else so it's not really the video game it's like the social moment that's the top like beating kingdom hearts with my brother you know what i mean uh, for yeah. me the like, top, that's moment, a top moment for me the top moment was like finishing halo 3 with my brother like split screen like yeah. we just had those four by three yeah. like screens it's and... like a bonding moment that's yeah. what makes it yeah. top yeah. yeah my brother was if you're in just the sitting back playing yeah. alone yeah i get it Bro, i think I back it. to the time yeah. i broke a keyboard on my face fighting the tree set in an elden ring yeah. <laughs> every day i think back well, to it, that moment <laughs> I feel like, okay, so first off, like, this is what I hate about this hyperbolic crap on the internet. Like, top mm, 100 moments yeah, of yeah, your yeah. life, really? <laughs> right. Like, top 100 moments? I mean, I've had plenty of awesome moments. I'm sure some oh, of them yeah, are going to have... of them. Yeah. Watch Mojo, <laughs> top 100 <laughs> moments of your life. Yeah. I mean, like, traveling the world, meeting friends. Some of them are going to include playing video games. Like, hey, look, I wasn't a big GoldenEye fan when I was a kid. I never had an N64, but years down the road, we did end up getting an N64 in our dorm, and we played together. We we had a moment, all right? We drank. We played some. I, I consider that a top 100 moment. I met some of my best yeah, friends in those. Yeah. Those are some of my lifelong friends that I met in that situation. So, yeah, it's a pretty good moment. I, I feel like this gaming is a depression thing. It's like, okay, yeah, I think it's fine to admit that if you're playing video games for 12 hours a day, Sure, yeah. maybe there's like something else going on, right? Like, but who's saying that that's fine? Literally, no, no one on no planet one. Earth is saying that's fine. No, but like that's, when people like come up with stuff and they think that they're like so smart, yeah, it's like the I'm 14 like... and deep shit. Yeah, <laughs> 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 how do NFL kickers just miss kicks? Am I right? How does that should just make them every so time. Easy, dude. Who tweeted that? <laughs> Ninja, Ninja, Ninja oh. tweeted. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> he, okay. No, wait, he also so, like knows again. about he competitive sports. It's just so ignorant to say something like that. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I, I couldn't believe, believe he actually responded to me. I said my brawless wife literally said the same thing. <laughs> and he oh said, my god, I wish. love it. <laughs> So, wait, first off, I, can we just speak about ninjas? So I was in, like, California, like, weekend, during this whole, like, uh, offline thing, right? Like, when he went offline, like, user not found and everything. And I thought that there was something deep going on. And then, like, there was so much speculation, like, his Twitch partnership dropped him. I don't know. Yeah, if that was true. weird. Why did it? He was like, guys, I don't know when I'll be back or where I'll be back. And everyone was like, wait a minute. Is this, like, you baiting for the YouTube, like, gaming sponsorship? I'm like, no fucking way. And then he comes back and he's just streaming everywhere now. Like, dude's like, dude's like on Twitch, like Instagram, maybe like Pornhub Live. I don't even know. I saw like, on TikTok. <laughs> Wait, really? You can stream yeah. on? Oh yeah, you can stream. Yeah, on yeah, TikTok. yeah. You can yeah. Stream. He's been because streaming you can, everywhere. Yeah. You can stream anywhere you want now. Like if you're a Twitch partner. Yeah, because Twitch is terrified they made that, that YouTube's just gonna take over. So they're like, oh, you can stream on Twitch that, too. Like they are. Yeah. They are. They are. Well, like, here's my thing with, like, Twitch and everything, too. Even, like, YouTube, it's, like, the weirdest level of enforcement. I just remember, like, what was it, like, two, three weeks ago that people were just having sex on, like, Twitch TV and getting seven-day yeah. bans. I'm like, damn, man, if only we could, like, have that level of... Le like, I, I show, like, sonic inflation for, like, half a second, and, like, YouTube's like, mm-mm, no, well, no, 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 no. I think that, that begs the question why you were show. Anyway... Well, okay, I accidentally strict. did it, all right? Like, I was literally looking at, like, a video game, and I alt-tabbed to another thing, and I was looking up Sonic Inflation as a, as for research. For research. Mistake. For research. Yeah, mistake. yeah, completely. Like, it's been to a point where, like, I pl I'll play it off on a live stream. Like, I'll alt-tab to something that I shouldn't show. I'm like, oh, guys, oh, wait, I'm getting DDoS. Uh-oh, stop stream. Quickly delete the stream, restart it again. I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not even going to give a chance for anybody to figure out why. But, like, yeah, sometimes it'll happen. YouTube's super strict. 
Twitch, mm-hmm. I've gotten so used to just going on Twitch TV. I'm like, all right, boys, let's load up a movie from 1986. Clearly, this site doesn't care about DMCA. Why should I? <laughs> That whole rule about, like, not dual streaming, I think I was breaking that for, like, a good... I don't even know if I should be saying it, but it, I was breaking that rule for, like, a good two years anyways. I'm like, restream, because I don't care. I'm just what, like, what are you gonna... What are you gonna do? What are they gonna do? There's just no enforcement. Like, there's no proper level enforcement. And the thing is, it's like... The one thing I'll give YouTube the advantage of, and I know this sounds super biased, is, like, a lot of those features that we used to make fun of for the live streaming on t- YouTube, right? Like, the shitty chat system... A lot of that's just being solved anyway. So it's like, what leg does Twitch really have to stand on? Right. There's such fixable problems. Yeah. Like, good luck. And, and even with, like, Twitch, it's like, the, the like I feel like it's always really crappy for the people that are trying to be discovered on the platform. Because it's like, mm-hmm. like I'm literally on there playing, like, Call of Duty or, like, anything. I could be, like, literally covering anything one night. It doesn't have to be, like, game-related. And the algorithm doesn't even, like, help send or like aggregate attention to like any newer person like if you're a new streamer like you just and you're trying to like start something on twitch good luck right like it's better if you just start off on it any even youtube's terrible for that too like they don't even have a live functionality that anybody can browse (laughs) into like being a new live streamer these days kind of sucks right because it's like no you have to do something else first right i mean yeah like at least today today the stream the way to grow on streaming as far as i understand you stream streams that could turn into youtube videos and then you pray that the algorithm on youtube picks you up and directs yeah. people to your stream like that's so true you, you, you yeah. can't get found on streams pretty much it's- no you have to have like highlights and clips and everything too right because it's like you also have to understand from the viewer perspective bro you're, it's a six hour stream all right like i'm not gonna like <laughs> tune in for i'm like i'm not gonna tune in for a big time commitment if i don't know something massive is gonna happen right like a lot of like for instance xqc right like you'll know like hey at least you'll get in for some sick gambling here and there maybe some like fun gameplay you know like you'll get something out of it right like there's going to be a moment of like there's going to be that one like 30 second moment that's worth your like maybe 15 20 hour long time investment you don't really get that right off the bat right like there's some some streamers that i click onto it's like it it feels like they're trying to copy the other larger streamers in some capacity Mm. and it's like Guys, you just gotta like. I know it sounds corny and hallmarky, but like you, you really have to just be gotta, yourself. Yeah, yeah, just be yourself. Like, what the <laughs> and it's like, but it kind of sucks. It's like if people don't like you, then it's like yeah. you're not <laughs> you, I guess. I mean, I've gotten so done with Twitch at this point and the discoverability that like anytime I just like program something, I just like straight up go on to like just uh, I, just, I just like go on to like uh, Twitch and just stream myself like programming or like configuring my computer at this point. And I'm like, guys, I just give about like making the content anymore i just i just feel like doing what i want to do yeah exactly i always like just being live for being live i never like really made content while i was live but there's like something like 95 percent of streams like on twitch it's like zero to five viewers well most of the people are streaming to to no one i feel like again i feel like most people making youtube videos are to no one also right like yeah you know, the thing yeah. about it is it's like even the content can't get you any further right like it's like think about it like this gb there's like a million asmr channels at this point but i feel like the mm-hmm. reason why you're one of the first ones that show up is not just because you've been around for a while it's because you've also got a personality you know like i can mm. like like if i if i show up to a live stream from you right like i know that i'm going to be entertained because you have like some thought provoking <laughs> stuff to provide and you're and you're a funny like entertaining person right like that's 100 well, percent true i tuned yeah, into your stream yeah. we had a great conversation about circumcision <laughs> yeah. one time it was wonderful it's true it's you can true. bring it up again if you want <laughs> no it's okay i know I, I, I totally get that. it once yeah. so the audience can be like what but and then we could just move on <laughs> that's like the i feel like you guys like should the, explain the, the circumcision channels that we're talking about though <laughs> We just yeah. have, we can't stop talking about circumcision. We can't. Okay. It was funny. I still I still don't have an answer. Is my problem. I don't have an answer. Wait. Last time. Yeah. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Last time I spoke on. to you, you had an answer. Well, Go. like it's not like a solid answer. Like my opinion can <laughs> almost always be changed, if it's factual enough. I feel like the facts aren't fact in in this one. No, no. I don't know who to let, trust. I mean, we should start off because I'm actually kind of interested. What is a circumcision debate? What? <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Muda, it's, what's your what? opinion? Huh? I don't. Since I don't have mean? an opinion. No, we gotta lay it out. 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 Exactly. Your parents pick for yeah. you, right? Yeah. True. So it's like, if I were to have a son, do I circumcise my kid or not? Is like my question, and it's like a like a moral question of like, why would you? If it doesn't, if you don't need to do it, why do you do it? Like, should I just conform to what around me culturally this small circle of people tend to do, just because? Like, I could just not. 
like inaction is a lot easier but for some reason like yeah. everyone wants you know i mean like i, I would pro okay so like th i did that's not a, think so this would be the penis episode of the podcast okay w wait wait a minute okay so okay first off like <laughs> nux you're obviously culturally obligated to the scenario given your history yes, yes nux yes. are you are you of the circumcision camp or no personally i, I am have I you am been decided for already or no oh i i have been decided for and uh it's also a decision i've made hopefully for future events okay well, I, I feel like I would get culturally dragged into it by the rest of the family, right? Like, there's obviously, like, a heavy focus on circumcision on my side. Kayla, what about you? Would you? <laughs> like, I just, when my little son's laying there, I just ask him. <laughs> He's like, hey, buddy. <laughs> no, at first I'd show him one of those fucking TikTok videos of them showing how it's done. Like, Look at that. And if he starts no, crying, it's then I'd say no. And then if he if he's like... You know, or something. Like they I don't know. Cry. It hurts. Oh well, yeah, no shit. Yeah, it no hurts. Shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't need to be a scientist <laughs> to know that one. Is it is it morally okay just I'm because they're lie. babies and they won't remember? True like, story obviously not. Is after after it happened to me, I didn't walk for like two years. Well, yeah. I mean, neither did I, buddy. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> we were... also, like, two years is two years is really long to not. Walk. Yeah, that's a long time. I don't remember in my defense. To hey, to be to listen, you want to know what's weird? My brother didn't talk until he was five, bro. <laughs> he didn't. Oh. He did not make noise until he, he was okay? five. Has he we wet were... the bed and hurt small animals? No, no, he doesn't. No, 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 no. We we dodged that bullet. <laughs> like, we're, we're, we dodged that one. But I remember when he was like a kid, he was like he would just never speak until he was in like kindergarten. So like my dad mm. would just like. He's, he just, like, tries to get him to speak. It's like, uh, what's going on? Are you having, like, a problem? Like, is this not something I'm getting? And then now he's, like, the most talkative person, too. So it's like, you know, shaming ducks for not walking for two years. All right. He just wasn't I'd, ready. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I would leave it up to an audience vote. If I have, like, a like a following <laughs> still, I'd <laughs> Dude, leave, leave it to a frame clip. <laughs> Pull below. Pull, Pull below, below guys. Should I get my Good son eyes. circumcised Snip or it. not? It's like, I would put the poll in the first tweet, but it lowers the, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. the, lowers the impressions. Why, why, lowers the impressions. <laughs> why don't family channels do that? Like, I love family channels. I'm sure okay? they do. There's no chance that somebody <laughs> That's has That's true, them. yeah, they, they have to. Well, if not, I'm okay. doing it when I have a kid. Listen, all right, this is... I think we all have to agree the best content on the platform is the family channel, okay? Like, uh -uh. this is... I can't oh, even hate watch them. Like, I can't even... Honestly, I, I, I would them. hate... I, I can't Family even hate watch them. Like, so much. I love watching bad content, but I listen. Like, I can't listen. It's guys. like sick, very sickening. They're sad. all wholesome. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. They're all wholesome as hell. Oh, Every God. time I sign on, YouTube recommends me some of the wildest shit ever. Period. Yeah, pranks, likes all right. Mm -hmm. The seventh pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Like foreskin democracy. <laughs> democracy. <laughs> That'd be my channel name if I was oh, a family. No. I had a family, <laughs> or anyone at all that loved me. Some, sometimes I just really like when I when I go onto the internet. Like one one of my like wildest families that I ever seen was like the Ace family, and no. I, I I swear mm -mm. to God I cannot understand the logical like the the brain damage that has to take place in order. I don't understand the fans for this. First off, you know what I mean. Like I can understand there are fans for almost Who's any watching type watching them right. Like children? I can understand. Children. I don't even think it's children because I went to my aunt's kid's house. And and they they do not watch family channels. All right, they just they just move from Roblox into looking at like commentary channels and like other gaming channels. That's it. Like, do you think it's like is it the adults that have never watched YouTube before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I th I think it might just be like actually like like n I hate to use the term normie, but yeah, normies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, cause yeah. my parents, they, they search YouTube. They don't use, they don't use the algorithm. They search stuff. My dad would like be, my dad would look up how to cut onion or how to sharpen knife. How to's or, are still like yeah. huge. That's on fine. Yeah. Like H how to's are the best part about YouTube. Mm -hmm. I think. That's all, that's all my parents watch. So like if, no. if, if they had kid, if they like, well, they do have a kid. I'm their child. But, uh, <laughs> But they, they didn't monitor anything that I did at all online, at all. So, oh my god, they still don't even know what I do. Really? No. They just know I got a giant house. <laughs> they come over. Did you do you try to explain it to them, or they just you don't? You're, you my dad know, sometimes will say that. he watches my videos, but I don't think he does. I think he's lying. I've I he does. I, I just don't know how to explain it after Aunt seeing hentai. It was my grandma yeah. seeing hentai of me. Like it's just not happening. Like yeah. my whole family is not seeing my hentai. My dad of like me. he makes believe he watches my videos. It's really funny. He'll say, "So son, <laughs> rule thirty four. Am I right?" And I'm like, "Oh, okay." Oh dad. <laughs> oh dad. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's that's why like my like my mom and dad will ask me like they'll be like oh son we're proud of you for everything that you do i'm like you don't you don't actually watch it do you 
And sometimes like, shouldn't like, be, but no. thank you. <laughs> well, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes like I'll upload a video and I'm like, I'll sit there and I'll, I've said something in like my native, like, so swearing doesn't piss off the family, right? Like if I swear mm. in English, however, if I swear in my native language. Oh, oh, gra- grandma's gonna, grandma's gonna die. <laughs> She's, there's part of the inside of her that dies. So sometimes like I'll swear in a video and I'm like, oh man, I really hope grandma actually doesn't watch this. I hope she's actually staying far away from this kind of content before you know anything happens but yeah i don't think no way no not i i feel like i feel like most of the families the thing about it is like most of the family i feel like hate watches me for some reason like we're a very passive aggressive family (laughs) we are we are a very (laughs) passive aggressive (laughs) indian family to one bro the the anas uh whatsapp group chats that you're not a part of they go nuts they talk mad shit about you (laughs) they don't even talk they talk mad shit to everyone's face you know what i mean like they just go out the, the group chats in our family are insane back and forth. They are always active, and they are filled with the most high school clicky bullshit I've ever come across. I like they don't even they don't even like it's not even like oh I talk shit to you in a different group chat. No, it's the same chat. They'll add you too. Like it's not even like it's not even like like they'll be like hey you piece of shit at like it'll ping your phone and the motherfucker you will respond back and forth to all the. T- we will call each other in. The, we will have a group FaceTime to shit on each other. It is the most dysfunctional and backwards. At least you're interacting. Yeah. <laughs> no, like I can't get like fifty percent of my cousins to ever reply to a text. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's a uh, glass half full. Oh, they, they don't. They don't leave it on scene. Oh no. <laughs> when the mother like it, like sometimes like I'll look at a message and I'll like leave it for fifty minutes because I'm doing a video and then I'll get another ping. It's like wow. Okay, so I guess you don't understand that read receipts are a thing. I'm like no, I get it. All right, I'm going. Trust me, I gotta finish this before I bitch at you back. Okay, like it's gonna happen. Don't worry. Give me an hour. Oh, all my we will... read receipts are off. They're yeah. so off. Oh, I, don't I don't open a text until I can respond to it. Same. Though. I have like you know twenty messages on my phone. Like I don't I don't want to open them and I don't want to swipe them away because I need to get back. Twenty to them. though. Maybe. Oh, I, I have like five, oh, an hour. I have five email oh. accounts on my phone. <laughs> Boy, boys oh, and oh, girls. I thought you were just talking text messages. Boys and yeah, girls. email is over. That too. I, I stay away over. from all this. Jesus, that's your family group chat. <laughs> That's everything. That's business. Well, that's mostly business, but like, it's a lot of oh, okay, family. Okay, okay, okay. That's like, your drug phone. Oh yeah, this is my burner. <laughs> Do you ever look at your like your screen time? I had to put a just yesterday, like for the first time, I put like a timer lock on some of these apps. I spent thirty hours on TikTok last week. <gasps> what? Uh, what? Oh, dude, I am so disturbed. disturbed. That is I made TikTok content. I don't even do that. I think it's because I have it on like. That's the thing that I do on the side. Like if I'm doing my hair, like my makeup or something, I like just swipe through it like while I'm doing something else. And then I, in bed, I like in the morning and at night, I scroll TikTok and I suck at sleeping. It's horrible. Well, that's kind yeah, of ironic. My total, my total Dude, sleep time is like. You, you, that's yeah. why I watch so much ASMR because I can't oh, fucking sleep. Oh my God. No, no ASMR creator can sleep oh because we're all there for uh, <laughs> GB, I don't think most people in our camp can sleep. We're always up at like Nobody three in the sleep. morning. The trick is yeah, that's my, yeah. good. my uh, total you sleep well? time. You yeah, I, sleep I exercise and eat really healthy though a lot. I exercise, but I do not eat healthy. I meditate I and stuff too. Meditation I mean, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Do you meditate like in the morning or at night to fall asleep? Both. That's nice. I do. I do. I do like night meditation. Actually. I, I meditate. I don't eat healthy. <laughs> I don't eat that unhealthy, but I don't. I meditate on things. Big questions like, will I? Circumcise, circumcise my child <laughs> that's not, that's not yeah. meditation that's just you know the daily thoughts <laughs> yeah that's, exactly. that's just like yeah my day my, total screen, my screen time is eight hours and 43 minutes and my top used app is gmail because i have a boring <laughs> no life. way oh, you're talking yeah, about my phone for last week is eight hours for a week yeah eight hours 43 minutes um i don't mine's so nine like, and a half so when mine's, i when i go ahead, ahead. No, I, I bought my phone just because, like, the only thing I'm... Listen, my rule is that my phone is, like, as long as you can, like, f***ing browse the... Brow, browse news websites and check stock information and send email, that shit's golden to me. I don't even use the phone or anything. I don't have games or anything like that. It's kind of sad. Actually, that's no, okay. wait, that's a lie. The only game I have on my phone, actually, is Final Fantasy Battle Royale. Yes, I'm the only player on that entire game that actually <laughs> plays it. Not a I've bot. I've got three hours on Rage yeah. Shadow Legends. Let's go! I've got uh, 16 hours total, but five were spent driving in Google Maps. Okay. And then okay. I only okay. spent an hour yeah. on TikTok last week. That's yeah, still that a lot. 11 hours. 
Let me see how many hours do I have on TikTok. Yeah, 30 hours on TikTok last week, which is just like, it's it's abnormal. I was having a That's week. That's wild. Okay? Yeah. 30 I was having hours. a week. Dude, for me, my most YouTube and Twitter, those are my most. My most is Discord co- communicating with my uh See, app. the problem is I don't want to know how much, of, if you were to combine like my computer time, yeah. I would be devastated. So I have a lot of overlap. Like I'll, uh, I'll have something on my computer and then I'm just doing something on my phone. <laughs> But are game. we clinically depressed for using our systems That's that long? That's the question. Though? Yes. That is the question. <laughs> yes, we are. Are any of the top 100 moments of your life scrolling I'm Twitter? <laughs> My top 100 moments are not on TikTok. I would say, yeah, actually, the top 100 moments have been because of a computer in my life. Yeah. Actually. Oh, because of a computer? Yeah. Yeah. Well, because, because of, of TikTok? technology. Maybe yeah. Not. No. Thank no, you, Bill Gates. Not. Yeah. Hey, hey, I don't Let's use... all hit the camera with the fluoride stare and thanks. Dude, I, I love conspiracy theories about Bill Gates. I lo- dude, I've been so hardcore on the conspiracy stuff. Not like the crazy, like dangerous conspiracy theories. Not the fun no, stuff. No, 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 no. Not, the, not the wild base stuff. No, I've been looking up flat Earth stuff. I think I might actually like one day turn into a flat Earthist, dude. I'm, I'm actually starting to believe I in the Loch Ness so, monster. This you point, watch, dude. you watch a lot of ironic content. You watch content ironically. It's like, what happens when it becomes unironic? <laughs> That's what I'm scared of. That's literally what I'm scared of. Like, I'll go on Facebook.com and I'll like, I'll look up like, I'll look up like flat earth scientists. Dude, one day you're just, you're, you're going to tap into the matrix and everything will make sense. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm taking like, you know how they say like, you have the red pill and the blue pill. No, I'm taking like the straight up like multicolored pill at this point. I'm just taking everything at once. You're taking the pride pill. Hundred percent. I'm prideful of like going on Facebook. Like it, it's not even a joke. Like I'll look up like Loch Ness monster like sightings on like Facebook, and there'll be like eight hour documentaries on like this. Clearly, <laughs> you you yeah. searched Loch Ness monster sighting on Facebook. Yeah, That's... Loch Bigfoot. Hundred <laughs> percent. They're fine, dude. They're finding Bigfoot in China dude. now. They're finding Bigfoot in China. No joke. You know where? You know where they found Bigfoot twenty miles south of Three Gorges Dam a few weeks ago. Brother, they, fair, they're they gonna find him on the moon. Everywhere, don't they? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure space. Listen, I'm not gonna do, like SpaceX will probably find Bigfoot on Mars. Okay, on the moon. Mm-hmm. Okay, no joke. Like there, there are people that are unironically believing this. Okay, like it's a clearly photoshopped image. Like I'll look at it for like a second. I'm like, oh wow, Photoshop, eight hour documentary, and then like it'll, it, they'll just try to stuff as many facts. And the comments are the best part because mm. I don't know if the comment section is botted. Or if they're real people, you know, like they're be real like, people. Most people are bots. Wow, <laughs> wow, Tom, this is an amazing, wow, what amazing proof. And I'm like, no, 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 you can't. No, why are you believing this? What's wrong with you people? And then you know they'll, they'll just do it, and that's just the world we live in, unfortunately. Okay, so you're right, GB. What if it does become unironic? What happens then? But to be fair, though, wouldn't you be happier if you really believed it? I really no. would, though. I would be. I, I still, Listen, I'd be if happier it, if Bigfoot just came up and dude, slapped me on the fucking head. I'd be if so it, if it excited. Made, if it set. really made you happy, does it matter if it's not true? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Isn't it okay to live with a lie? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, fine. Disprove Bigfoot. Okay, there it is. Like, actually disprove it. You can. I mean, you, you can. Th- you know? Yeah. yeah. There's also okay. never been one that's been found ever. So okay, but like the burden of li- proof shows that it does not exist. Isn't Listen. it like anything else where it's like literally I was running on the treadmill and I looked to like the side of the mirror and I like scared the shit out of myself. I look like fucking Bigfoot running on a treadmill. It's like a, it's just like a person in the woods where it's like Mothman. It's just an owl. Yeah. People need to chill. Well, okay, okay, listen. Hey, Mothman Bigfoot. ain't an owl, all right. We, we I can't... used to live in West Virginia. He's real. <laughs> listen, Point we can't... Present, I've been there. He's real. Listen, like an owl is also a really cool thing to see. You know? cool. We we Truth can't Bart, we can't cool. disprove Bigfoot, okay? Just because sheer fact that we've not had evidence to say it, okay? It's like the whole religion debate, right? There's no evidence that it exists, though. Yeah, we we Bigfoot can disprove. We can disprove. Oh, I don't that know would if be, that's that, what he that meant by the religion twist. debate, but okay. <laughs> well, like, well, think about it like this: we can disprove <laughs> well, flat Earth, right? You can't you can't disprove that Bigfoot is God? Okay, yeah, actually, yeah. True. Yeah, wow. Way to, make, way to make a straight up, way to spread misinformation, bro. All right. Purposefully. <laughs> but going back to it, all right. Think about it. We can disprove flat earth. I've done the flat earth disproving. It hasn't worked. Okay. Like I've, uh, one of my friends believes in it. Okay. Super smart engineer. You, you know how you're like, oh, really? what if you unironically like believe it? Actually, yeah. This man, this man is a robotics engineer. All right. Damn. Like, that's solid. Depressing. 
And no, it's it's it, beautiful. I, I know someone that believes so, in it as well, and he's like, mm-mm. he's a computer programmer. He's a smart man. No. Oh, no. He believes in it's it. It's all the programmers. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, okay. So I think I think that this this person obviously had a lot of trauma in their life, like you know. So I think they just they just like to reject mainstream like things, right? Okay. So for them, it's like they they believe in the flat Earth because it's like, oh, are you really going to believe what the government says, what NASA says, with their obvious CGI Earth? And I'm like, okay, so. Did you know that there's no satellite that can actually take a full picture of the Earth like that? Did you know that it's just a composite image of many different yeah. images all together? All, Were you all aware we had to do is just all we had to do is kind of sit down and go like, "Hey, listen, all right, let's get a weather balloon, let's get a mm-hmm. GoPro, send this shit up to the stratosphere, and then we'll look at the curve together." Okay, they'll still not believe it. Okay, they of still not, will not because they know money, the truth. Money not- well being <laughs> spent. <laughs> Money well spent is all I'll say. The worst fucking waste of your waste of your days, even. All right, trying to do this. At least it's a fun like story and like a good time with your homie. But they will. Some people will just not believe. All right. Some people will just be set in their ways. They'll call it a day. I feel like the truth is that's how most debates are today. Most debates are. Well, that's that's why Twitter sucks. That's why YouTube sucks. That's why it all sucks. Because everyone has their echo chamber. Because it does not matter how cut and dry you think something is someone's going to disagree well True. yeah so recently there was like this uh what was it that kiwi farm site right that got shut down mm. uh, yeah. by keffels or whatever so one of the things that i have to so i'm like a pretty absolutist kind of guy i'm like if you ddos attack anybody i feel like that ruins your side you know what i mean like committing a crime is is bad no matter what i keep pretty like as a data security guy now some people took that as like are you defending that shithole of a site kiwi farms i'm like you really think that you can just take like no, 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 no. I said DDoSing is bad. I didn't say that fucking it's, shit. That's like, I didn't say the shithole of a website is bad. And then all of a sudden, it's like, they'll extrapolate that into, like, transphobia. I'm like, I don't understand how to reach these people, okay? Like, I have always been on, like, what the fuck? Like, that's why I just give up trying to, like, argue with anybody on the internet. Because it's like... Well, that's within, not like, nuance, right? Because it's like, why that. do you have to bring that up now? Why can't yeah. you say DDoSing is bad on another day? Why do you have to bring it up now? Me? Well, I don't yeah. know. It just it became it became like a it became the topic. So it just it came right. into it's my. It's like, head, for example, I, I don't know. Okay, this but is not a, not a great it, right? example. Like all... But Andrew Tate yeah. getting banned everywhere or whatever. Like, yeah. no, I don't like Andrew Tate. But it's a discussion on whether he should be banned or not. You know. Well, for me, it's like it became more clear because this is a sort of thing that I found interesting on the internet regarding him. It's like there is like there. There's people that defend him vehemently against everything, which makes no sense to me because it's like there's such a weird thing. So you're so Tate, lucky. You don't know. You're, oh, you're so, so lucky. lucky. He's the most Thank Google searched person you know on what? the planet. Don't please do not even do not fill GB on this. Okay, yeah, we're not, I, don't, we're I not, actually don't want to know. We're not going to burst your bubble. You don't know. Don't. I don't want to know. Like I feel don't. like my time is more valuable than knowing who yeah, that person yeah, ab- is. One hundred percent is because if yeah. your brain is even a percent like mine, you will be fixated on this for the next thirty days. So don't. I've been I've been much better about that. Just doing things that I actually enjoy. Yeah, that that's why that's why I stuck to like programming and all the boring stuff in my life okay all right imagine keemstar but all of his takes are worse for society (laughs) i literally can't imagine that Uh, i literally can't imagine that i I love i love how like when we had him on the show you were so clearly passive aggressive on it too it was i I don't know i spoke my mind i let him know know. exactly what i thought about that's 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 what i that's what that's what i love about it too i I, I just I, there's some there's some stuff about the internet with like personalities that it's just like I, I'm just like I, I've learned to just dial it back. I'm like I'm done with it. It's like GB just said. It's like focus on what makes you happy instead of like joining the discourse because it's like the discourse is just it, it's wild. Like I sign on it. It's like you got to Like I was looking at AI art right mm-hmm. and like so. Do you guys have you guys heard about like this uh, Colorado State Fair? Like they had an art fair, right? Yes, Where, like, yes, yes. I so, saw this. So somebody made a prompt. Okay, on like AI art tools like Mid Journey, and they submitted it, and they won first prize on their AI art, right? In like the digital category. Yeah. So my belief on that is, I'm like, I think about it like I compare it to speed running, right? Because it's like, so you know how you have like a regular speed run, and then the tool Mm. assisted speed run. Both of them, I think, are really impressive, right? Like, both of them are like impressive in their own ways. Obviously, the speed run is impressive because the person playing it is just very technically talented, right? Like they have an innate skill that is hard to replicate. The tool assisted person's really good at finding like how to optimize something to the nth degree. So they're all, they're both impressive. But when I look at an actual competition where you're drawing things, like where it's expected you're supposed to do it with your own innate skill by hand, 
you know, whether you're using a digital tablet or like, you know, real life, you know, uh, tools. I don't think that somebody should win first place by like trying a hundred different prompts on an AI tool and letting it generate stuff for you. You know what you the know? problem with that is? It's like what? very cut and dry for me in my head is because right. all of the AI generated images is stolen from artists. Yeah. Like the, the actual things that are being put right. that, in that's how the, the final AI product puts is the image stolen together. from artists that like weren't asked. Because so it has no even, unique data set. Yeah. It's literally not even a question to me that it's mm -hmm. like very wrong. Because it'd be you're... one thing. It's like it'd be one thing if like you had an artist who's also a programmer who made their own model, but their data set was entirely hundred percent produced by themselves. You know, like yeah, they would have to put style. in every single yeah. image mm -hmm. themselves if well, they not wanted if they're to say that they made it. it. Yeah. Not if they're downloading the data set for like the entire world, because it's like it's one of the things. Like one of my friends, he's uh, he does like commission work for YouTubers, right? Like thumbnails and like backgrounds and banners mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah, yeah. And he's got a very unique art style. But I've I've thought about it. I'm like so. He lives off commissions. Like, this is, like, his bread and butter. Yeah. But the thing is, it's, like, they could take a thousand of his pieces, feed it mm -hmm. into an artificial intelligence, and just replicate their style. So I'm, like, at what point is it that this person's entire style, the, the, which is, by the way, their unique branding has been just aped, and then anybody can generate their work for, like, pennies on the dollar. I'm, like, wow. So you're just, like... Dim, like that's like, theft. That's theft. It, <laughs> it really is. It is 100% theft. It's really sad, honestly. Like for me, the technology is super impressive, right? Like when you're right. making stories, okay, don't and hate like photos the technology. The technology, yeah. hate great. the monetization. The ethics of it is really yeah. fucked up. And I find like with Mid Journey, what was really interesting was like they said that all of the pros, like all of the stuff that you generate, copyright belongs to you. But I'm like, how can you do that? You know, it's like how can that how can that be true? Yeah, like your data set relies on like the artwork of popular artists and people who are uploading their stuff onto the right. internet. Like, how the f can you? How does that make any sense? Well, like, then you come across people like, well, what if the AI was just inspired by the, or like, don't actual artists get inspired by others? I'm like, that's not how AI works. No, no. AI, AI <laughs> is literally just taking the exact, like, no. It can't AI make is something not, out of nothing. AI, is, the, AI is not The computer sentient, doesn't wake up you know? in the morning and be like, huh, yeah. Picasso. <laughs> and besides, still, like, taking, taking too heavy of inspiration and copying mm -hmm. is also, ro like, wrong. It's 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 a we, hotly debated thing, and sometimes it's not correct. I mean, we've shit on people for plagiarizing their work constantly on the, on, yeah. on this platform and anyone. So why should this be any different? When this is just straight up. Yeah, it, it's it's wild. Like it's it's wild that I feel like people are so against on the artist side. It's like why? Like I can get are the they? debate, but it's are people well, against it, it? It is it is a debate. Like it's Dude, a, the bots. Well, yeah. The bots I don't are know how much the of AI the, yeah. side. <laughs> yeah <laughs> synthetic life like, form versus for organic own. yeah dude that's my toxic no, but... trait because i feel like anyone who doesn't agree like anyone who isn't pro artist just doesn't get it you know what i mean no, no. that's my toxic trait for me I'm like, it's like oh you're you yeah. have a wrong opinion because you're you're not informed you don't well, get for it. me it's like as somebody that's in like the heavy end of the programming side i appreciate the technology i think it's great but i just don't i i can't ever side myself with the ethics on it because i feel like it's ultimately going to be a tool like the the biggest i feel like the biggest abuse for it is going to be in like the corporate world right like these companies of instead of paying like artists anything they're just like ai generate whatever of they course want they'll do off that. of the artist and it's going to be yeah. so like, disgusting yeah. and it like oh, and yeah. the thing is and it's going to be better than be so what most people can do sad. you know i'm yeah. depressed yeah. like I'm the depressed, sad part about go. it is like i thought about it i'm like listen bro it's if like you've got game companies right like imagine if like out of somewhere like game, when they're making their concept art now they can just like prompt shit and i don't even have to pay artists to like conceptualize a video game I'm like god damn dude this can like <laughs> some of the technology have stuff being shat out that's just so lazy waste yeah. of time and money well you, we even got like youtube videos that are literally AI generated <laughs> like straight up all of them the robot voices reading yeah. reddit threads yeah dude oh. but they do so well they do so oh. well I well that's all people want me. yeah oh it's it so sad me. i mean do you, did you see okay you know how we were making fun of quebble cop because he made like that he calls it an ai even though like come on um there's not an ai the uh mm -hmm. like his vtuber thing that he basically generates content like or whatever called blue it actually hit the algorithm like it's churning out the same content that it has been for the last year it's the same what content again and again and again b-l-o-o -O. and it's okay. actually blowing up like crazy God like it. it's Bruh, doing better right, than dude. Quibble holy Cup. shit oh my god and but this of, is just like anything yeah. else and all of it's the videos like are i i feel like they're all the same 
I, I, I don't should, think we... it's obviously not an AI, but it's I, I think that a lot of it is run kind of by bots, like the thumbnail I'm, schemes and the titles. I'm wondering, it's, I'm it's wondering a... if we could do something like this, right? Like, okay, so I'm feeling like I should put aside like a chunk of change. And just like every month, like thousands upon thousands of dollars, maybe a hundred, like whatever fucking amount, and just like I'll, we'll like get an AI to generate video ideas based like, on just Google don't. Trends. No, gaming. don't, don't. And then stop. I'm gonna go on. And then I'm just gonna go stop. on Fiverr. I'm gonna go no, on Fiverr. I'm gonna. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna pay somebody to record the gameplay. Somebody to record stop. the content. <laughs> No. Like fully fucking outsourced to YouTube, and then if that hits the algorithm, it's done. Like it's over. Like boys, we just discovered how to make fools gold. On Dude, the it's it's literally like it's an infinite money hack, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. GTA Online money hack, ends. but in real he, life. Okay, he's starting blue for Minecraft and blue for Roblox. Okay. Of course. I mean, like this is, a, but these are the markets you're gonna hit, right? Like this is the one where the, like this, this is where like parents just like give their kids the iPad, and it's like, well. My job is done. The circumcision is over. I now love you. Blue will circumcise my children. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, like I literally looked up this like Minecraft channel. It's like Minecraft, but I broke max speed. Minecraft, but there's custom YouTuber TNT. Dude, you know my favorite one? It's like when it's like every time I die, I turn down the graphic settings. They don't even do that. They just like add a blur filter onto the fucking video. And I'm like, come on, guys. Like, I get it. Maybe, like, a seven-year-old's falling for this, but I clicked onto it. God damn it, I you're can't. lying. I can't. No, I, I, I can't do it. Like, any of these, like, it's, gaming channels. The commercial, the commercialization of, like... I, I mean, I feel like they've been doing this to everything, right? Like, superhero movies, yeah. for example. Like, mm. uh, I, I think... <laughs> have you seen the new stuff at all? No. It's like... It's because so, I don't hate I feel, myself. I feel, I'm telling you, She-Hulk is AI-generated. I'm telling Bro, you. Bro, you're right. <laughs> like that, no that less should... so than like the other 20 things that came out in the last five years so okay so it's it's like it's you're exactly it's like all the disney stuff nowadays like i remember yes. the lion king i was like oh man i want to watch yes. the lion king i watched this as a kid i i probably got my parents to like can hate the lion king and disney after i watched it day after day i want to watch this and then this live action comes out and i'm like oh man this literally does look like it's ai prompted and then all these other Disney movies, like, I think I was, like, watching fucking, um, what was it, like, yeah, She-Hulk and all these, like, uh, Marvel-level shows on, like, Disney+, Plus. and I was just like, I don't, I don't get it, like, they look so low budget. Like, it doesn't even make sense, it's like, it looks lower yeah. budget than, like... I don't know, I don't even think it's the budget, per se. Bread. I feel like the whole thing just kind of came out of a blender where they're making carbon copies of things that worked before. Like, see that's a, see this is why we need to have a renaissance of like the 80s movies the 90s you know last night i watched this movie called junior do you guys know what junior is mm -hmm. it sounds familiar is that okay. it is it an arnold schwarzenegger movie it is do you know what it's I've about i've seen it yes of course no oh, so gb you don't know what junior is don't google it let me explain it to you let me explain okay. it to you do not google okay. it okay get ready it. this is oh, gonna this is this. gonna <laughs> this is gonna sound like an ai prompt the way i okay. explain it okay all right now you. Arnold Schwarzenegger mm -hmm. and yes. Danny DeVito. Yes. Oh, they're twins. No, 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 Danny DeVito, Danny, yeah. Danny DeVito impregnates Arnold Schwarzenegger and he True carries story. a baby to term. True story. Mm hmm. Also, based Arnold is a massive fertility scientist, yes. Not, no, no, not based on a true story. Ooh, no. Yeah. So, so last night. So we're, we're doing this thing in a month with my close friends. We're watching all the shitty Arnold movies we never watched, okay? So end of days, everything. Do you see Kindergarten Cop yet? That was a banger. Oh, Kindergarten Cop isn't... That's an actual banger. Yeah. But, like, Junior is the kind of movie where I'm like, how do they make this whimsical? How do they make Danny impregnate an Arnold whimsical? <laughs> like, like, the whole movie is so out there that as I was watching it, I'm like, yo, Arnold's got to have done something so cancelable in his career that this is some blackmail from Hollywood executives, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like there's there's gotta be like two, like i have to imagine like this movie came I mean, about dude, he became the governor or something so, like, in Hollywood. for whatever reason he survived it <laughs> maybe that was the price he had to pay right like oh you want to be governor of california dude, huh? he's been canceled well. a lot he's been canceled a lot i read his book total recall his like autobiography
Um, mm-hmm. People said he was a Nazi like a lot because his dad was in the SS or I don't know if his dad was in the SS, but his dad was a Nazi. Well, I mean, like how common would that have been back in the day? Because he's like German Austrian, right? So, well, as an Austrian, fairly common. <laughs> yeah, like it'll it depends Pretty on what level of common. It. Was he in like the SS though? Like the I, I I said he was in the SS. I don't really remember. I know that they had like the. Uh, one of their books that they read mm. as kids, Arnold and his brother read as children, was like one of the um, the big like Wehrmacht like huge books that has all like yeah. the great achievements of like Nazi. Um, uh, what is it called when you build a building? What is it called when you build a building? Not archaeology. What do you mean Archite- uh, archa- uh, architecture? When you yeah architecture yeah. yeah like the the big plans that they had and stuff and they, and they used to read Blue that book. Too. Um, when Dude, they were that's kids why they and... called they based Minecraft after Mein Kampf. It's a true story. <laughs> oh, that is no. a true story. Yeah, I read that in the book. <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, no, they 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 just they just said he was because his dad was a because his dad was a Nazi. I so. feel like that's that, that that's too that's too wild because it's like that would have been pretty common for people who were living in Germany at the time, right? Like you're or Austria, yeah, getting, especially yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you're gonna get especially in the Austrian countryside it, right? as a police yeah. officer. Like you know, I'm reading reviews. Roger Ebert liked it, Junior. Let's go. Oh my god, of course, dude. <laughs> it's a good Roger movie. I love it. Schwarzenegger is perfect for the role. You see skills that many serious actors could only envy. Yeah, <laughs> like getting pregnant. I'm stunned. I'm stunned at these images right now. <laughs> it looks like it's AI it's prompt, real... isn't it? It kind of does. It, looks, it, right. it all looks like well, it's prompted. Like if, dude, you, if, if that, that was made it, today, it would get so that's like. That's enough. That's enough. I just. Googling that for like two minutes, that's two minutes I can never give back. Like, I can't believe you actually watched the whole movie. Oh, yeah. but it's such a good movie. Like, Dude, I watched like, it as a you're kid. Wrong. You, you're, you're only saying it ironically. You only can I'm not, I'm actually not. I'm not. I swear to God, I'm not. You I actually, actually like the movie. I you actually like the concept. Okay, maybe the not the concept, no, 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 but the no, no, execution. No, 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 he likes it. He likes it. No, no, like, okay, okay. It. The concept rubbed me off the wrong way, okay? I was wondering how did they make the wrong way? How did they turn. <laughs> like, okay, don't get me wrong. I was wondering if he was gonna like. I was wondering how they got the Terminator to get like. Uh, that's what I was wondering. I'm like, how did they get? How did they get Arnie? Because that's the whole. When I when when I when I learned about this movie, I'm like, oh, it's got to be blackmail. Like, this has got to be some like dark, twisted. Just money. Shit that it's just, just money. That's it. You don't even need blackmail. Just like. I, I no 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 no. I think there's definitely blackmail. Like, think. Of, okay. All right. I, I think about it like that. I'm like, how much money would they have to offer you to take that role? Like, you have to. Like, th- this is like a f-ing career-ending role for both these guys, okay? There's a whole scene. But it wasn't at all. Ar- Arnold said to the producer one time, oh. your mom's a bitch, and he's like, oh, yeah? Well, guess what you're playing next. Yeah. yeah it's like, it's like, it's, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like it's like the cost of doing business. It's like, oh, we gave you this banger of called Terminator 2 to be in. Iconic movie. Now you have to f-ing do Junior. I don't that's, know. I think Junior was better awesome. than Terminator, to be honest. Okay, all right, listen, I can't even <laughs> unironically say that. I mean, shit, Terminator yeah, 2 is crazy. my favorite movie. Are you even American? <laughs> yeah, brother, Christ. But, like, okay, this movie, it, I, I genuinely will make it into my yearly watch parties because as drunk mm-hmm. as I was, no, no, I was a little, I was a little drunk <laughs> when I was watching it, admittedly. Okay. And all the scenes were hilarious to me. I was like, okay, because you, you got to like, I think for an hour you get like kind of assaulted a little bit. Like for an hour, you're just trying to reel from the concept, you know? Because like, was it funny or was it, it ironically it, funny? Well, it was it was actually funny because like actually the no, ironically was funny. No, ironically funny because like okay. there were no jokes <laughs> there in the movie. We go. There's the there, admission. That's what I hear. There, there, there were no jokes in the movie. It was just like literally an hour of Danny DeVito convincing Arnold to get pregnant, and then halfway in the middle of it, he's like, uh, "Maybe you should like abort it, Arnold. This is really unethical." I'm like, "What? You can't fucking half commit into it. Like this feels like the ultimate troll." Because I'm sitting there with my buddies. I'm like, "Hey guys, what if I convinced you guys to get pregnant?" I don't nowhere okay like i told you guys to take a drug and then halfway into it i'm like maybe i should get the terminator to i don't know terminator's <laughs> fucking pregnancy and he doesn't because arnold's also trolls like oh, okay whatever i'm gonna like they're complaining about losing their careers and the fact that it's unethical and i'm like wait guys hold on a second you just got a man pregnant okay I feel like this is the bigger story here, you know? I'm just, just surprised like, that, like, this is created. This was, money was funded toward it. People went, woke up in the morning and, like, went to their yeah. job working on this movie. 
I yeah, hate it. Yeah. It was a different time. So the much. 90s were a beautiful time. No, because there... we still get shit like this all the time. We, okay, I feel like the movies last... we get now suck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, GB, when's the last time you've seen an action movie star? When's the last time you've seen Keanu Reeves getting pregnant on camera? Hold on a minute. I mean, look, the, I new, the new Wick. cyberpunk anime is looking pretty good. That. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> look, I love John Wick, and I think like it's a great action movie homage, <laughs> but... Do you think Keanu Reeves is going to come out with Junior 2 a year from now? <laughs> we can only oh, do Junior. Junior's yeah. been done. No, oh but like, God. is Keanu... When, when, when are you going to have the next action movie star doing it? Like, now, we've got all these generic AI-created copies. But back then, we didn't have AI. We had, we had coked-up executives coming up with this idea, okay? Like, 8 o'clock in the morning, you're right. Think about the logics, okay? Mm. 8 o'clock in the morning, somewhere in Los fucking Angeles, there is a cameraman or woman that woke up and they were like shit i gotta i gotta show up on I'm, set i'm mad right now Fuck, is art is, is the light gonna get in arnold's like fake pregnant belly like are there we gonna have to meetings reach? about that there's like meetings yeah. about it hundreds yeah, like, of meetings it's like it's like think about it like there's, thousands there's, of hours there are 15 there are 15 people meetings sitting in a boardroom months. talking about this right now and people They're are stuck i hate it i hate it here They're like, they're like, how do we get how do we get Arnold Schwarzenegger to appear pregnant? Okay, we clearly don't have CG technology. We don't have 3D effects work. How do we do this practically? And that was an actual people were paid. You're right. There were there were yeah. six figures paid to somebody for this. Somebody funded their mansion because of this fucking movie. That is the American fucking dream, and that's why I love. Oh my movies god! From back no, it really makes it actually makes me mad. It really makes me mad when there's like so la- it's like such a waste of human manpower and energy yeah. and life. Somebody oh is driving. Best. Somebody is driving their Ferrari down Mm-mm. the fucking road, and Mm-mm. that's been financed on Junior money, <laughs> not Terminator Two money. No, 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 Junior money. This is what spirals my depression. Not playing video games. This is the reason I play video games. Yeah. This yeah. is the reason. <laughs> this is the cause. Uh, this, is, this is why I do it. That, that is that is that is like that is the movie era of back in the day. Yeah, I can't. I'm surprised that like nobody's like very few people know about this. Like very few people like I talk to are like, wait, what is Junior? I'm like, guys, how do we like? Not, how is this not like a talking point on like the platform? Like how do we like not? It's not, I feel a, like, it's not a meme yet. Yeah. No, it's not. It's like TikTok, right? Like, this is what I want to do. I just want to, like, upload a clip of it to TikTok and just see it in the next day spiral all over. Like, people are just And it probably would, it. yeah. It yeah. probably would. It, it TikTok would f***ing consume it, and they would share it mm-hmm. around, and I would be absolutely excited to, like, f***ing... Maybe I might just do that. Maybe I might, like, shadow start the f***ing junior conspiracy. Did you know? Did you know? <laughs> I mean that 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 in of itself is a video because you could like make that whole video and just be like, okay, without googling, do you believe this is an AI generated thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, don't Google or no, AI no, 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 no. generated. Don't it's, the, it's the new game show, real or AI generated. I feel like that should be a thing. Find like the most outlandish shit in like media and just show it and like you can see if they could figure it out. Because nine times out of ten, anything out of like the nineties, you could not do. You could not mm-hmm. figure it out. No. I mean, to be fair, Moonfall sounds pretty out there, and it just happened. But so. Moonfall was a giant Lexus commercial. Do you know about Moonfall, GB? <gasps> oh. Fuck. So do you have Amazon Prime Video? Yes. Okay, well, Not sadly, for Amazon Prime Video. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> as, as you know, Amazon Prime Video is the home for a lot of shit. <laughs> like, yeah, the I boys. really don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I guess I, I am very picky about what I consume because I hate wasting my time. Yo, no, but you got to watch Instead of TikTok. watching the cyberpunk anime, yeah, because I feel like it's, I'm cheating. The boys. I'm cheating. I'm just watching a little bit, you know? Like, True, why don't you just turn yeah. on something nice like while I do, you know? Uh, and, and then TikTok's all of a sudden, only a minute hours, long. A minute long. <clears throat> Dude, I've learned minutes. so much from TikTok though. I've you learned do about learn pinks. But, yeah, I learned about pink sauce. I learned about carjacking, <laughs> like fucking Hondas. How to properly steal urinals from your school? The whiplash is the problem of like you, you mean, swipe like from one video to the next, where it's like you don't know like what you're gonna get. Like you're immediately sucked into like something different, like that's demanding your attention. Yeah, and then you like swipe again. It could be something super serious or sad or funny or informative or like whatever. Yeah, you'll 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 go from like pink sauce <laughs> to like, hey guys, here's an informative two minutes on cancer, and I'm like, oh great, just fucking both ends of the spectrum here. Mm. You know, the pink sauce stuff was the wildest. Caleb, she won, by the way. Did you know that? I ordered. She got a brand deal. Still haven't gotten. You haven't gotten your pink sauce. Still did haven't get, gotten my pink sauce. Did you at least sauce. get refunded? No, I'm gonna Pretty message good. that. I'm gonna message that right now. 
<laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. So the pink sauce, do you know that? I don't know anything about won? this. So, okay, on Pink Sauce, there's a Floridian chef. Yes, this story comes from Florida. I know, shocking indeed. No way. But, uh, yeah, I know. So this, uh, this, this, uh, this, uh, the chef, I don't know if she's a, I don't know if she's a chef or not. I think it's more like a home cook, but uh-huh. she made this pink sauce, right? And this pink okay. sauce is like dragon fruit, oil. It, I don't know what it is. It's like pink ranch or something, right? Like, or close uh-huh. to it. Now, she is packing this with milk, honey, no preservatives whatsoever in the hot Floridian weather and uh-huh. shipping it across state lines. Oh, so clearly, no. clearly there are some, uh, there are oh, some rules no. being violated. Oh, no, no. <laughs> now, when she was confronted on this, she was like, I'm in this lab, guys. I'm in this big food lab. It's a garage. It's a storage container. I, I, I saw I saw I saw the I saw the tell to I've seen my fair share of storage oh, containers. No. I know a lie when I see one. Oh no. So when they when she was confronted with like, is your food FDA safe? Guys, why do I have to make why do I even have to talk to the FDA? It's the drug administration. Okay. They work on <laughs> drugs. Okay. Okay. Drug. All right. Point taken. Think drugs. I, I don't know about the whole F side. I haven't looked in that side of their acronym, but the D side, this is not a drug. It's not medicine. Now, in fact, it's poison. Yeah, she's part the drug brand. administration. She's given the brand deal now, so she's the pink sauce actually won. Like this is a multi-millionaire product now. Uh-huh. So I am I am blown away by how amazing TikTok can be. Mine got refunded. Oh, okay, there you go. Are you going to reorder it again though? No. No, nope, it's not fun anymore when there's no yeah. risk involved. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Once it's actually safe for <laughs> consumption, way what more the fun. Fuck? You wanted the roulette of yeah. what will this do to me? Well, like, that's what I was excited for, too, because I, I wish I could have yeah, ordered it. we didn't know it, but... if Caleb would survive to the next episode of the podcast. Yeah, we, we had no idea. Like... Would but, you have like... actually eaten it? Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> I've eaten way worse. Yeah. What's the Come worst on. thing you've eaten? Um, Raw crawfish. Ew. And this is Just what right we from a creek. Games. <laughs> oh, yucky. Oh. Yucky. Oh. Yeah. Oh, why? There's definitely uh, little animals in my brain. <laughs> oh, my God. Was it dead already? No. Did you, oh, what? Oh no. Did, you just, no. did you just survive her? That's man? gross, bro. <laughs> That's yeah, it was disgusting. I, Why would I, I asked for the worst. I asked for the worst, you know. Okay, yeah, it's disgusting. Oh, no, I don't know. We're taking like circumcision heart, tips Animal from hearts this and guy. stuff like that raw. Oh, like like the horse heart? Uh, yeah, like a deer heart. Cow heart. Okay, but that's not weird because on TikTok, like, I found some awesome protein tutorials. Like, this dude was just getting, like, that's not weird. No, like, he got, like, it is weird when it's, like, living a minute before and then you eat its heart that's still hot. Can you describe how it felt emotionally? So uh, wait, you're, you're, I, I'm gonna I felt like a, is, like a hill person. I'm assuming this is a <laughs> hunting a story, person. right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought about I thought about the same thing while I was hunting. I thought yeah. about the same shit. I thought about going fucking Mortal Kombat on the prey. I was like, wait a minute. It is really I weird. Still... It's like there's not much thought that goes into it. It's just like you just I feel, feel like, like if you think animal. too much, like it'll be done. Like you're already yeah. you've already missed out on your chance. Hot. Very fucked up story. <laughs> no Hot joke. And steamy. God damn. <laughs> Smells weird. It tastes good. Oh. Did it? Did it? Mm-hmm. You know, you know, you saw like on TikTok, this guy was just like cutting up like cow testicle and just eating it raw. I was like, no fucking way, dude. No fucking way. Is this like even on the pl- platform whatsoever? I feel like at some point, this is the kind of shit that isn't like, isn't it technically a dangerous stunt? Like I watch like a mukbang channel on the internet and it's like, hey guys, eating 60,000 calories in one fucking go. I'm like, right. Who, who makes that, who makes that uh, distinction? You know, I, I feel, I feel like there's gotta be like at least a fucking doctor on like YouTube executive board. Like there's surely there's this definitely cannot, no, no. Doctor. There's, there's no, no doctor. doctor. There is there a doctor, is no on, doctor YouTube on YouTube. Payroll. It is literally the only thing I can picture is just like, first of all, they must have the fastest turnaround time or like turnover rate of any company in the, on planet earth. Mm-hmm. And it's just people who like they review an hour long video in like twenty seconds. So yeah, because they're, they're fucking not. Legendary. They're not. What is actually going on over there? I have no idea. By the way, how many I... times have you been hit with that? That's a great question. Yeah, actually, how many times GB. have you been hit with the amazing fucking age restrictions and the community guideline strikes? Yeah, we had a we had like a whole period of time where like everyone was getting hit by just like limited. Ad- it was like limited ads. That was the problem. Do you think it's um, because of the content you were making? Like you maybe you were yeah, like yeah. tripping. Well, some... I'm pretty sure. They would just like write ASMR on a whiteboard and be like, it's not good this week, guys. It's not good this week. Yeah. And then like next week, you're like, actually, ASMR is fine. 
And then the next week they're like, not good, not good. Yeah, again, I, there's a stigma to ASMR. There is a stigma, I would say. I think they just there. There definitely is. It's 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 gotten better and better and better. It's only gotten better in the last six years that I was making content. But Let's go. the there's definitely something that was just passed where it was like I think it's the 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 very intense mouth sounds or like ear eating. That's the that's what YouTube it like you cracks down on a lot. Kind of sounds like, Where it's like your, oh, your like mouth is very close to the yeah. to the mic, oh, so it's just right, yeah. Right, right. Can, can you demonstrate? I'll demonstrate. <laughs> can you demonstrate? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, th those Thank videos you, always Simpson. like th those videos you, always kind of like get me because I find the the audio quality is so impressive on some of those ASMR pieces, the ear licking shit. Yeah, they sound like amazing. The, oh, they sound so great. Like having a good, uh, like, you know, that's like in a professional setting, like before COVID, that's how I used to test audio equipment. Like I was like, oh, sweet. New Sony, like in reference headsets. I put on the cans. Don't even, I like ASMR ear licking. Get in there. Like, All right. This, 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 this ear looks clean. Out, out, yeah, this is clean. Oh, this is even cleaner. All right. This is solid. <laughs> like, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's unfortunate because I mean, like those are like the, that's like the side of ASMR that like most people take advantage of. So mm -hmm. like, God forbid you're trying to, you actually enjoy it. You're like so screwed. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, you're f***ed on that. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I, I, I find like the, I find like the, so I never understood like the whole tingle stuff until like I listened to the ear licking one. I'm like, oh shit, this is like really good. Either I that bought like a tingles? really good. Yeah. I was like, man, I should, I bought a really good headset. What the f***? Like, <laughs> god damn. Like I felt, I felt my, I felt a tongue in my ear. I'm like, shit, this is. I, uh, kinda, ooh. <laughs> I saw one the other day that was like, I will make, I'll make you tingle. But it was this, it was this girl who does like uh, these weird sounds. Uh, on TikTok, she goes wee, 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 wee. stuff like that. Have you seen her yet? <laughs> Who was it's it? something like that. I don't know what her name is, but I watch all her videos. It's very, it's very wild. Very like she wears all this crazy like jewelry and stuff. And she cl said she was, would clear your sinuses and make your head tingle. And she did it. I watched all three minutes of it, and I did not have Damn, clear sinuses what? or my head was tingling. But I was very amazed <laughs> i felt like i, I had become one of her vampire familiars though and all honesty. it's like it's like it's like it's like fully artist shit man like it's like damn dude such clean crit I, I just use it to test equipment at this point i'm like all right sounds good yeah it was sounds awesome solid. I'm like, am I? Such a good fuck. You get like Star you went Wars. all in like you like yeah. there's like you know there's like soft like asmr that you can kind of ease yourself into yeah Whether you're like you'll scroll on tiktok and you're like Oh, I'm in. Whoa. I'm in. Dude, how do people... I don't really understand. I've never seen ASMR on TikTok. How do people use TikTok for ASMR? It's just short form. Like, like it's just short form. If you're trying yeah. to go to sleep, don't you need it long form? Like, if you're just going to watch for three not, minutes and then yeah, it's going to switch to, like... Not everybody uses it to sleep. A beheading or something crazy. It's just, like, pleasant. Like, sometimes yeah. people just find it to be pleasant. Like, it's not always for sleeping. That's the thing. That's the catch, Nux. That's the catch. You know, it's funny because, like, I could never fall asleep to ASMR, so the way that I always fell asleep way back before I slept in Minecraft was it just, like, loaded up GTA V, and I sat, like, next to, like, this area, like, in the game, like, just downtown, and I would just, like, listen to the city sounds before I passed out. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Strangely Console's gonna awesome. shut down an hour. Yeah. Console was gonna shut down an hour later anyway, so I'm like, oh, hell yeah, I'll just pass out to this. Wow, this you sick. literally made your own ambiance. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> I was like, damn, I don't live near a city, you so went I need to sleep city sounds. in the metaverse before the metaverse. I did. You're, dude, I was... like, you're like immersed, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like entertaining. You're like mildly entertained while you're falling asleep. That's why I like yeah. ASMR. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's pretty much. Th that's why, like, from Minecraft, I built like my dream mansion in Minecraft and I slept in it for a long time. No, no joke. Like, I had a whole bedroom, bathroom, I had a two bed, you know, an amazing suite. All right, he living hung room his, even. Uh, his board apes on the wall. I actually did you know <laughs> no, I, didn't. I would never buy a board <laughs> i think that is without a doubt like you know how they say like art is subjective and shit that is not fucking nor like that makes no <laughs> sense to me the fucking goddamn monkey jpeg <laughs> nfts i've never fucking understood this shit in my uh, life i'll agree with you on that one god damn uh, you know, you know so uh, i hate to use the term normie again i feel like a fucking redditor every time i say it but like <laughs> I go, I go to my, like, I go to any normal friend that I have that doesn't, like, stay on the internet, and you know when this NFT shit, like, you know, it's like, don't, d like, don't speak so soon, like, that kind of phrase, it's like, hey, you know, who the f*** would buy an NFT, and then I go oh, to my no. actual IRL friends. No. Yeah. Who would believe like, flat earth theory? I, 
dude, I go over to his house and he's like, hey, man, you want to see what I've been up to? And I'm like, oh, no, shit, let's I see don't. what you've been up to. So I go up, I go into his bedroom and the first thing I see board apes no it's like the mlm it's like that's what oh no he's like he's like you should mint this nft with me we can get super rich i'm like oh fuck. i have like you know like the whole ben affleck outside his house like smoking the cigarette i'm like yeah. oh. <laughs> i was like no oh. and then like and then he had the whole oculus headset over like by his computer he's like i'm mm-hmm. gonna go into like facebook horizon worlds and i'm like the actual other user that I found. Fuck. You were the other guy. <laughs> no. And, and now now he's out of it. He's out of it because he got scammed, believe it or not. <laughs> like I do got not scammed. believe it. Yeah. Scammed no, I in the crypto I know, space. Shocked. <laughs> That's I know, unheard shocked, of. right? <laughs> yes. I know, His information shocker. was in the blockchain. It was indecipherable. I'm dead. That's my dude. Those are my favorite like sponsor emails at this point. Like anytime somebody's like, "Hi, uh, Mister Some Ordinary Gamers, we know that you're a big fan of I NFT and channel. crypto projects." I liked my favorite one, my favorite <laughs> yeah. of your videos was, "I can't believe this happened." <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mister Some Ordinary Gamers, we're a huge fan. My last favorite video was, "I hate crypto scams." Dot dot dot. We would believe we believe you're a great target for running our new NFT. I'm like, ah, oh, hey. no, boys. Please. They get they give some crazy good money though, like fucking like I like they they'll give you like solid six figures if you promote their project. But I'm like, damn, dude, it's like you got to really ethically be selling yourself like out completely for that. Yeah, like, someone I know wanted to do like a combination like ASMR, like they did art, like make like an NFT, and I was like, well, here's why I don't, like I'm not interested. Like da 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 da, and I listed some of like like the ethical concerns. And they were like, oh, yeah, I, you know, I really had those concerns, too. Like, I was really thinking but about money. those. But it was a and I'm lot like, of money. So why are you talking to me about this right now? I'm like, Great. I'm glad that you thought about them. <laughs> and then they're like, no, no, let's get let's get back to fucking making money. Please. They're like, yeah, yeah, that's really bad. But so I bet you, you didn't consider the amount of money we'd be making, though. I don't, I don't know. I'm like, just lie to me and tell me that you didn't think about that. Jesus. It's like, do you, yeah, you know, no, the, you know the YouTube channel, CoffeeZilla? Oh, yeah, I love that guy. Do you want him to make a video about you? <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> Who is that? He's a crypto I'm scam. so removed from everything. You're lucky, oh, honestly. This is, this I'm is so why you gotta, removed. This, this is why, like, this is why, yeah, and I'm fine like with you it. said earlier, like, focus on what you enjoy. Like, before we started this, I was talking about how I hate the show Ozarks because, like, the money laundering isn't realistic on it. Well, ever since I cover like all of this crypto stuff, which I love, I love covering anything with numbers and like okay. long lists to follow. I'm a huge fan of it. Okay. Like uh-huh. I'm like, I, I am, I am a nerd for this kind of shit. So this is why like, I enjoy it covering this kind of content. And it's it, that, that is, that is why like, I'm always 100% into it. I always enjoy it. I always like get like, I don't know if like what, what the right phrase of it is, but it's just like, I'm so like connected to it. Like I am, once I'm into it, like I'm tunnel vision. Like I can, I have to see it all the way through to the end, which is why I'm a huge fan of any of it. And it's like, I feel like on YouTube, it's like when we started off, I was like, Hey, this is a real hallmark way of saying, you know, make the kind of content you enjoy and it'll work yeah. be yourself. That's yeah. how it works, man. Like if you just follow the fucking trend or that, I mean, don't get me wrong. You kind of have just to just make but it's like a little you know, bit gta of, 5 oh. content every day and sell your soul we should do like actual you know what you know what i kind of want to co- i kind of want to cover the money laundering of gta do you guys ever know about that no okay so like a long time ago so like you know how they hack money for gta online and shit yeah well, the fucking rockstar irs comes in and like fucking rebalances your money so what players would do is they would just buy fucking cars in the game and launder the money that way. So no you just way. hack in like yeah, That's you'd amazing. hack in like yeah, you'd hack in three hundred million dollars worth of cash, buy all the McLarens and Bugattis in the game, and then when Rockstar rebalances you, you sell them on the market for seventy cents on the dollar and launder your black money into like usable cash in the game. Yeah. That was what? Fucking, that That's was, amazing. Yeah. That's actually yeah. amazing. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> People are so smart. <laughs> this, this is the thing. It's funny because it's in a game called Grand Theft Auto. Like, unironically, they found a way to commit <laughs> yeah. legitimate crime. I'm done. <laughs> and then, they and then like, right there. What this man selling his Lamborghini. Take that, Marty Bird. I mean, yeah, 100%, dude. I'm like, like I sat there with, like, my buddy because we, like, actually grinded the game. I'm like, wait a minute. So, like, I'm sitting over there. I'm like, how do you, how would you actually launder your illegal money in the game from Rockstar? 
And that's what the community was up to doing. You know, they turned out, I think they removed the stock market day one from the game because literally there were entire Reddit boards set it around. Hey guys, People what are, if we mm-hmm. did it? Mm-mm. What if we tried insider trading in right, GTA? Right. You can't, you can't. You can't. <laughs> well, they were try- well, they were trying it because it was like, so you could buy into all the in-game companies. So we were like, hey, shit, what if we buy into like the one burger, one one of these restaurant stocks, and then we'll just spend a week as a community blowing up the trucks right. of the we other rival competing nice. company. They couldn't. Rockstar was like, wait, a way for them to make money without giving us the microtransaction? out of here <laughs> never mind never mind never mind no no that that's that's the kind of stories that i enjoy from it too it's like even like with the twitch stuff like recently i've just been like enamored with like turkish twitch because they're like the biggest what? money launderers on that fucking... this stuff I oh my god you don't know that I can't. oh my god dude you the don't Turk- know that you know oh, turkish okay, twitch me, so, okay. everyone knows yeah, turkish Tur- twitch turkish twitch tv streamers have literally no. been raided by the fucking federal police what? for Wait, money why? laundering because they were How? money laundering. So when the Twitch leaks happened, you know, like okay. the, when they found out all the income from people, like, hey, XTC yes. makes like $6 million. Yeah. So that was normal, right? Obviously, big viewership. But then they looked into the Turkish streamers and they were like, You're making that's a lot of money. money and it's not making sense. So they looked into it and those people have been indicted on money laundering charges. Shut literally the had their up. houses raided. Bro. Well, it's fun. When it happened, like, two years ago, I called it because I'm like, wait a minute. Couldn't you technically money launder on, like, YouTube gaming and, like, Twitch, too? Yeah, like, I remember what you if... mentioned it to me, actually. You were like, it's actually super easy to launder actually. money through Super Chats. Yeah. Well, like, and okay, like, think, about it, like, think mean, about it like this, maybe, okay? But... If you have, okay. If we went at, if we went to the store with a thousand bucks each, right? Like, we smurfed, uh, like, GBU went to a f-ing store, bought a thousand bucks worth of Google Play cards or, like, f-ing, you know, prepaid okay, cards. Yeah. Nux okay. goes, that's four grand we just smurfed, right? Now, assuming that we don't have to enter billing information or like basic credit card KYC information on any of these platforms, we have literally laundered money at a rate of at worst 60% in favor of the company, right? So we get we get like a we we've get sorry, we've given the company the 40% cut for like, yeah. you know, processing the fee, but we made yeah. 60%. That's is that better good than in money laundering. Well, well, that's really fucking good in money laundering. I've never money thought laundering, about you're... money laundering once in my life. Well, well money see. laundering, you're expected to lose. Like you're you're going fifty fifty basically, really? right? Like you're yeah. Oh, you're, you're I don't losing know. money. I, okay, I would not. I didn't know. I didn't know. Well, like, well, like if you make, well, you have to you have to rummage it through a legitimate business, preferably cash owned, right? So you can like you know manipulate Obviously. the money. Wow. But if you go okay. through like if you go through YouTube, Twitch, and all these services, right? You're uh-huh. routing your money through multi-billion dollar tech firms right. that don't get audited at all. So like you're right. routing hundreds of this is this is <laughs> how the beyond fucking, the law. This is how the Yakuza does it, right? Because the Yakuza will like fucking, in Japan they will do literally it on Twitch. Wor- well not Twitch, <laughs> but they'll like they'll work in like ja- well like actually so this is the thing in, <laughs> in Japanese so cool. customs. I hope they and, do. <laughs> Yeah. Well, in Japanese customs, they might. In okay. Japanese customs, right? Like in their big like zaibatsus or big corporations, mm-hmm. some of them will be infiltrated by like like actual criminal enterprises just so they can like launder money through or have like certain assets of controls just so they can run money through larger companies. Because it's a lot easier to like have like hundreds of millions go through like Sony Corp or like right, you know right. Nintendo or something versus like a million front a businesses. That are, yeah, exactly. So it's like that's what I, that's why I was like the whole yeah. money laundering on like YouTube made a lot of sense to me because I'm like imagine okay you had like a fucking hundred viewer stream and this motherfucker was making oh, fifty shoot. bucks a day on donations doesn't really make a lot of sense now does it right but it's so small done you could have like hundreds of streams and feed like fifty bucks a hundred bucks through them each day and be golden. And all those streams would have to do is just like replay videos that you already had saved anyway. So you could yeah. make this and shit look And really... who's going to notice, right? Twitch yeah, is a million right? streamers. Like who's, who's looking through it? Who's looking at a $20 transaction at Google Play or like a $30 transaction? Like it looks Literally like no nothing. one. No one. So it's like, in the, yeah, but that's what was going on. But in they like had to be hacked Twitch. in order to find that. That's hilarious. Yeah, their their information had to be leaked out for them. Because to re- no one's I'm... looking at them. <laughs> Well, like, how are you? Gonna, well, like, the thing is, it's so weird because it's like one of the biggest things with like money is like one of the weirdest thing about money laundering is like in the transferring of money from country to country, right? Because you've got like FinTrack laws and a million things. Like, if I sent one hundred thousand dollars to Caleb in Texas right now, there's like in fifty that's million good. red flags that go up, right? Because <laughs> it's like he's getting money from into. <laughs> yeah, he's getting money from some like rando dude in Canada. Like, they're gonna be like, well, what the fuck's going on here? But like. Twitch is international, so it's like fucking, you're sending money to other places all the time. 
or like YouTube and Amazon. Or, well, I should say Amazon and Google because they're like the parent companies and they're doing the billing. So it's like really fucking insane how this shit is done. Like it's really that was like the Twitch side of money laundering that I so totally got into, and I totally sidetracked this conversation with my. Friend. I've never been more educated on a podcast. Really? Yeah, most podcasts like most interview the guests. No, 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 no. <laughs> we don't do that. I learned some, we just I learned talk. Some facts today. <laughs> We, we just talk. About, talk. We talk about pink <laughs> sauce, <laughs> money laundering, circumcision. circumcision. No, actually, that was genius. That one was for me. Don't worry. That was for yeah. me. That was my one contribution to the podcast. You're well, welcome. no, I think that was a pretty significant contribution because now I'm morally stuck into thinking if I'm going to circumcise my child. Yeah, you know, people will say, you know, if there's health reasons, yes. Health reasons, no. True. What the there's hell are the blah, health blah, blah. reasons, though, back in the day? Wait, health what health are the health reasons? Sides. Give me the health reason. What's the health reason of cutting off a piece of your dick? Uh, because, okay, again, so it's a whole discussion if this is even mm -hmm. accurate or not, but uh, some say it's it's more difficult to get infections if there's no foreskin. Like, STDs, there could, yeah. Take showers. There could be dirt. It, it, however, taking take showers, showers is a known cure for this. Take what? showers, use condom. And, but this is why Probably gamers have depression. That would require depression. somebody, like, washing their, yeah. <laughs> this is why gamers have depression. They don't take showers. Eat healthy, take shower, use condom. Problem solved. Easier said than done. <laughs> These things are all really easy. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes, brother. Sometimes, you know, it's a lot. Whoa, 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 that. hold on. Taking a shower as a gamer is difficult. Come on, come on, people. Taking a shower What's is the that? bane of my existence. True. I take a shower once Just, a month whether I need to or not. I take a shower right after each calendar. podcast. Brother, how I dirty this thing gets. Brother, I take showers like I do tax payments once a year. <laughs> <laughs> I take showers every time they start calling me. They just start saying I fucking stink. They do. You know, you know. speaking of that, one of my favorite things is like just looking at like gaming clips from like 2008. Like there's some gamers. Like I know this one guy, Dark Side Phil. He had like a cooking series on YouTube, and it was the funniest shit you'll ever watch. Because he's like in the background, it's like he's got like Mass Effect Two downloading, and he's like, "I'm a gamer, boys. I don't got no fucking time to melt butter. Let's just pan this shit up." I was like, "Damn, dude, this is the ultimate gamer. No showers, no nothing. Just fucking go with the flow, dude. Call that's it nice. a day." That that's what I like too. Because every time I watch him, I'm like, "This is what I was like in college, dude." I'm like, "Ain't got ain't got no fucking time to like." Boil macaroni, boys. Throw that ramen and shit into a coffee pot. Call it a day. <laughs> like, fuck me. His, like, entire house is just, like, fucking gamer stuff thrown around. It's all a fucking mess. And, boy, I'm really adding myself from my college years. Jesus Christ, you should stop. It was you college. Know, it's up. okay. Well, th this was a, a wonderful experience. I think GB has to go. I, th I think. I oh, think my lord. Rather, I think we were all rather busy on the tropic of circumcision. That was, that was, that was fantastic, though. Thanks for a riveting podcast experience, truly. Oh, really? <laughs> really now? Thank you for joining. Next, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, okay. I, it's a, they say it's a well-paying profession. You get okay. to keep the tips. Oh, okay. my God. All right, bye, guys. Thank you so all much right. for having me. It was so fun. All I right, loved well, it. ladies and gentlemen, as you can all imagine, we are we are busy with time. We've got things to do, all of us. Lots of mythical questions to ponder each of us. <laughs> Gonna go find Can't Bigfoot. I know. Bigfoot's fucking real, and I'm gonna show you photos one day. I'm gonna send you an exact photo of real life Bigfoot, and you're gonna be okay. like, that is real. That is 100%. But it but can't be Caleb. It's gonna be Caleb. But this is uh, this is me, uh, you know, unfortunately. This is Nuxtaku and Oompi. We are exiting the podcast, but I feel like the outro should be with our esteemed guest. GB, ASMR. Yeah, GB, take us out, take us out. Should we? Should yeah, we? Take us out of this, come on, let's go. Good night, everybody. Sleep well. Oh, dude. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> <man>. That's <laughs> <great>. oh. <laughs>